Obsidian, smooth molten glass flow, born in the liquid earth, cooling so rapidly as to seize where we find it. We're here in Glass Butte, Oregon, where a seemingly countless number of different kinds of obsidian hail from. Like this Aurora Borealis that we took from the ground, cut, polished, and formed a cabochon from to make a jewelry piece for you. We're giving it away in this video. Stay tuned to see if you won. We're also going to explore the different kinds of obsidian to see them rough and polished and get a close-up view of their beauty. Here's a piece of garden variety black obsidian now. When backlit, it's translucent to transparent and looks opaque in other lighting. It helps to know how it's formed to understand what gives it the different and unique characteristics and colors. Five to six million years ago, volcanic vents ushered up felsic lava. Forming domes and layers, this high silica sticky lava cooled quickly. Cracking and breaking apart, sometimes while still moving, these glass flows were born. Left in the ground for us to dig up these many years later. But not all obsidian is plain black volcanic glass. This fancy dancer is referred to as triflow. It's a combination of our clear black obsidian, mahogany or red obsidian, and gold sheen. You might ask, what makes that color and that flashy satin sheen there? Trapped oxidized hematite and magnetite are responsible for the fiery red. Let's take a closer look. An important point about obsidian's appearance is that it does not have a complete crystalline structure. That makes it not a rock and not a mineral, but a mineraloid. So it's truly a special find, like its cousin the opal. This is mahogany obsidian, mostly red, lacking much of the black. And this is what it looks like carved and polished. Where did we find obsidian like that? Why, Mahogany Hill, of course. The climb is steeper than it looks, but well worth the sight of a proliferation of bright red shards jutting out of the ground like a mighty monarch butterfly gathering. Truly a sight to see. Well, what else can you find? I mentioned sheen obsidian. It turns out the gases got trapped inside some of the obsidian as it was forming, leading to some really interesting sheen patterns. Upon closer observation, you can see different directional layers of sheen. Imagine the quick tumult in the volcanic moments of its chaotic inception. And here's what some of the sheen obsidian looks like cut and polished, hanging out with some Oregon sunstone. The sheens can display different colors, such as golden purple. Nano crystals of magnetite create differing hues we see sprinkled through this micro landscape. The macro landscape at Glass Butte has actual regions and pits where you can hunt specific kinds. Just kindly don't claim jump. And that was a short list of varieties. Up ahead is Midnight Lace, Burgundy Swirl, Gray Banded, and to our left, Tiger and Aurora Borealis, just to name a few. Here's a side shot of Mahogany Hill. Past it, you can see the white layers of rattlesnake ash flow tuff and vestiges of the Brothers Fault Zone. Next up, this unusual gray-green obsidian. It has very fine sheen appearing chatoyant and displaying fine layering. I'm not sure, but could this be velvet? If you know, leave it in the comments. Some of the material seriously looks like it's from outer space. This specimen has little bubbles or magnetite stars that glitter in technicolor. It's also showing off some of the conchoidal fracturing that is a telltale of obsidian. You might pass over this one, but it's by far and away my favorite. This came from the rainbow area. It was a solid, dirty chunk that I cracked open with my pick. A piece of shrapnel flew by when I did. 
that was scalpel sharp. Be careful out there, kids. Here's another piece of that same chunk I broke off. I haven't polished it yet. I'm saving it for something really special. What would you do with it? Under magnification, you can really see those reflective particles. Amazing. I'll roll a slideshow at the end of the video, just the magnified shots. They're so pretty, like another world. Some of the pieces seem fantastically in between genres, like gray striped silver sheen aurora material all mixed up into one. Of course, the stones don't know the rules to our vernacular. I love that about rocks. It's kind of like how we try to name all the insects. There will always be new ones to discover. They do polish up like a dream, though. Speaking of that, here's a friend from the Aurora Borealis pit. Tight layers of bubbles and magnetite conspire to cast hues intermingling. Lavender, green, blues, it draws you in. You can see the subtle color play and intriguing texture in this cabochon. We're pretty familiar with this one. A great journey of cutting, shaping, polishing, and setting to continue its adventure with someone new. It's time for the giveaway. Let me take a moment to thank you all for supporting the channel with your subscriptions, comments, likes, and your shares. We appreciate you. So we're giving back. All the names went in the hat, some of yours twice, as promised. The ducks back there are actually doing a drum roll for you. And the new lucky owner of the piece is Milani Thurston. Pop on over to ozonefineart.com to the contact page to send me your address and congratulations. And wait, for the rest of you that entered, I'm leaving your names in the hat for the next giveaway. That'll happen soon. Thanks again for all of your support. As I was making this video, I realized there was way more to cover about the obsidian, so that'll be for the next one. Meanwhile, World of Rockhounds has a great video on obsidian that includes the gorgeous and elusive fire obsidian. And Geo Rock Nerd has a video where you can see obsidian in the host perlite. Very cool. Check them out. The links are in the description. And when you check out Glass Buttes, bring water, a spare tire, we so totally flatted. Pack your trash and any other trash you may find. Let's keep it lovely. Leave me your favorite memories about Glass Buttes in the comments or tips. And make sure to subscribe, it really helps us grow. As promised, I'll leave you with the magnified shots of the obsidian. Thanks for watching and keep creating.